in three, two, one. So tell me, why have I been pulled out of my meeting? Thank you uh, for coming uh, so quickly, General. Uh, we may have an issue with one of the recent deliveries, sir. Issue? I'm going to need more than that. This one in particular. Ah uh, yes, that ominous black cube. It was uh, collected as it uh, appeared to be made out of an unusual material. It survived a direct hit from Warhead given its location, and yet did not have a scratch. We've determined that the exterior is a carbon molecular mesh designed to efficiently bleed away uh, impact forces and the like. Uh, that's very interesting, but and I'd love to study it, but uh, that's not the problem. The problem is the radio uh, the the problem is the radiation signature. Uh, we've been picking up from it. Radiation. Most of that stuff in there is hot. Why is that a problem? It's not that it's radioactive, but how it's radioactive. Most of the scavenged materials are radioactivated in some fashion. Uh, in that the nukes altered the nuclear structure of the uh, materials so as to cause non-radioactive materials to become so. Depending on the material, the radiation coming off of it will vary, but this, this cube has a signature that doesn't follow what one would expect from, from such a thing, especially given its exterior is mostly carbon. Alright, so it's misbehaving, and this means what exactly? It's not that it's only misbehaving, it's it's misbehaving in a very specific fashion. The radiation is very minor in intensity, but the energy level is extreme. The source of it is it's not hard to figure out, despite how well <laughs> unlikely that it could be possibly be this. This cube appears to contain a little over 7,000 kilograms of anti-iron. Anti-iron? As in antimatter? Correct. Well, the mass of the material is an estimate, but but we figured out that the radiation is coming from most of the interior, so it's likely filled nearly completely with antimatter. And we really don't know how it's being contained in there. We could try to cut it open. <laughs> we have the equipment to, to laser it open, after all, but uh, if we do, well, we'll probably break whatever containment this thing has inside. I'm no scientist, but David, I know that that is a bad thing. What kind of damage are we talking here exactly? Worst case scenario, total ant matter antimatter annihilation. We about 10 to the 21st joules of energy released in a moment. That's about more than... <laughs> Comparing it to Earth, that's more than it puts than we, it's, uh, and, uh, that everyone on Earth consumes in a year. Or about, you know, 2 million megaton bombs, I think. Give or take a few. I don't think your containment vessel can handle that. Let alone the station. We're not, uh... We're not at knockout planets, uh, you know, we're not at knock planets out of orbit levels yet here, but... Yeah, it's kind of scary. But, uh... We would go, if we were to go off on the surface of a life-bearing planet, mass extinction would be quite likely. I think I want this thing off my station. Slate it for Site G, and make sure it's guarded till it's on the transport. Understood. Where was this thing found, by the way? It appeared to be some sort of temple. I think the Yixions were using it as an altar. But this is also right under one of the uh, early strike points in the largest city. It was hard to determine, you know, though exactly what role it had, if any. It could have just been, well, used as a table or a holy relic or <laughs> just part of the building. And it's a little late to ask any of them. All right. Get it moved, quickly, and don't open it.
Intrigue. Yes. yes. Mystery. <laughs> and welcome, everybody, to Stellar Renaissance, the generic universal role-playing game sci-fi adventure, which I am uh, hosting here, and here are my players. Uh, feel free to introduce yourselves. Well, Who are you I'm guys? Alec. Well, I might as well start. I'm Alec, and probably a lot of the listeners will probably recognize me, but I'm playing a character called Alex Carter. Um, and he's, uh, well, he's he's a kind of streetwise kind of guy, focuses on his skills, likes to talk his way out of situations. Eh, he's, he's got a few of the little tricks of his sleeves, a little bit of mystery as well, but I'm going to leave it to uh, the game to actually reveal more about him. Gepwin? I'm Gepwin. I play video games on the internet sometimes. I am playing a character named Simon Ignatius Xander III, Gentleman Adventurer. And we will be finding out more about him later on. Suffice it to say, he wears a British colonial pit helmet, and that's really all you need to know. <laughs> Very dapper. <laughs> Excellent. And, and Jar? I'm Jar, and no one knows me because I don't stream or anything. Um, I'm going to play a character named Scott, and he's close to a barbarian compared to probably some of the other characters. Um, yeah, he's he's mainly just good at surviving, I hope. <laughs> so, uh, That's a good hope. So far we have a, uh, a, a gentleman adventurer, his uh, you know, wild man servant, and the private investigator. They're teaming up and they're going to solve crimes question mark <laughs> so it, go ahead <laughs> it's it sounds like we, we, we will easily do that i mean he'll hit them on the head and then when they wake up we'll interrogate them excellent <laughs> <laughs> all right well uh i got a little bit of a intro uh, for you guys to uh, to listen to so if you uh, you you'll indulge me for a moment <clears throat> It's a pleasant morning in the city of Latour. The various skyscrapers fill the sky, stretching up through the crisp, cool air in early fall. The streets are filled with flows of automated vehicles, taking commuters and visitors this way and that. The skies are also filled with aircraft doing the same. In a few months, it will likely snow on this chilly world, even in Latour, which sits on the equator. Centuries ago, it snowed year-round. A millennia ago, Glaciers could be seen from Latour. But now, a great green belt encircles the middle of the planet over a thousand miles wide at its smallest width. Oceans are slowly filling up in the lowlands, while the highlands around Latour become gardens and farms. In the distance, one can see on the horizon five massive structures looming from beyond the horizon. These superbuildings, each once housed tens of millions of people each, and now only three of them are occupied. The other two show extensive ruin, the leftover scars of a war that ended decades ago. The devastation of these structures just so extensive that they are yet to be fully repaired. The city lies on the planet Lantan, capital of the Confederacy of Lantan, a massive, many-planet nation-state. The year is 3348, and you, Melek and Jar, have just gone into an elevator together going up to the 80th floor in a government skyscraper. And it's just you two. So, get to uh, introducing yourselves to each other. What do you look like? Do you say anything? Okay. Well, I'm kind of uh, a little bit unkempt. Although my hair's relatively short, I've got plenty of stubble. Um... And I'm wearing a slightly dusty trench coat. It's a modern material trench coat. It's not an old trench coat, but it's, you know, it's clearly not looked after massively. Um, and generally speaking, look clean, but clearly don't really care too much about the way I look. Um, I look fairly, you know, decent looking if you're into guys. But yeah, generally speaking, I'm thinking to myself and, uh, and, and generally... Uh, Looking, looking a little bit, a uh, little bit rough. Don't look like a strong guy. Don't, don't look like a fighter. Jar. Um. Scott's, 
he's spent most of his life outdoors, so he's relatively fit. He's got black hair, just black eyes too. Um, he's in all leather, just because that those were some other clothes that he could find here on Lantern. Um, he's generally quite quiet, so he may be um, hesitant to reply at times and may not reply the best. Well, uh, um, yeah. I, I suggest for the uh, the uh, the, uh, the hesitation there, Jar, to work that into the role play as things progress. So, uh, so so remember that and that sort yep. of thing. Um, so you're both going up to the 80th floor. Isn't that weird? Again, there's only the two of you there. Yeah, yeah, it is pretty weird. But uh, but generally speaking, Carter, my character, tends to observe and watch things. Uh, see what presents itself. So he's gonna sort of eye up this uh, fellow left occupant, and uh, yeah, fair enough. Gonna just see see what progresses. Are do you do anything on the way up? Um, he's going to just give stone face to the wall with whatever ha controls for the elevator it has on it. She's going to try not to interact too much and disturb anyone. <laughs> all right. Well, it's just the two of you, but uh, all right. So uninteresting ride up. The, uh, the the elevator bings and the doors open. What do you do? Okay. Well, I'm going to head out to where I'm headed because, right. you know, I'm wasting my time. All right. Uh, you are both looking for the office of Reza Khan. Okay. Are there any oh. signs of that in the hallway? Uh, yes. Uh, are you guys on the, uh, the office uh, map now? Yes, I can see that. All right, so feel free to move you guys around. I like how the Jar office... is actually a jar on the map. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, man. <laughs> Find a portrait. So uh, the uh, sign by the door immediately in front, uh, by the elevators there says uh, in big letters on it, Reza Khan. You mean that one now? Yes. And there's like a... Assisted to the undersecretary of this, that, or the other thing of colonial affairs. The long, kind of pointless title. Okay, re remind me a moment the, the exact reason why I'm here. Uh, you were uh, informed by your friend Albus uh, that there was a job here that could be useful for one of your uh, yes. other activities. Yes, yes. And uh, and uh, you know, you, you, all that coming back to you now? Yeah, yeah, that's that's coming back to me now. I'm I'm right. I'm remembering. Okay. All right. Uh, it's up to you if you share that information with the uh, the rest of the group. So I don't yeah, want to spoil I mean, too much. Well, it's one of those things where I, I like a little bit of mystery, but there's no point keeping massive secrets. When it when it comes around to it, people will find out. It's not a big deal. We're all we're all part of the same party, you know, behind the scenes. So yeah. Right. Um, is the is the door like glass? Can I see into the office, or is it like a uh, opaque? It, it uh, appears to be a uh, uh, like a foggy glass. Mm -hmm. Might be one of those deals where like they can push a button and it comes clear. Okay. But uh, you know, right now you can't see much through it other than big shadows. Okay, okay. If there's a button to press to alert whoever the occupant, then I'll press it. If not, I'll knock on the door. All right, there is a button. Right. So bzz. the uh, the door uh, does in fact go from uh, foggy to clear, and you can see inside the office. And there's a guy in there, and uh, he motions for you to enter. Okay, okay. I will, uh, I'll enter. All right. Char, what are you doing? Um, so, I was um, offered this uh, situation to get some money, and I'm just kind of looking for the signs that have some of the names that I was suggested to go to. Yes. And, uh, and right there... Right there is uh, yeah. Reza Khan's, and that's one of those names. Yep. So he sees this, and he remembers, he goes up to the door, and I, he tries to mimic what the man before him just did. <laughs> the, uh, the fellow inside uh, seems a little confused, but he also motions for you for to enter. All right. So uh, you are now both in a very plush-looking office. There's... Uh, you know, uh, shelves with books, plants, cabinets. Uh, there's even like a, a liquor cabinet, obviously, on the left side there. Um, the man behind the desk 
uh, is very, very well dressed, and he's also very, very handsome. And he uh, stands up to greet you and says, "Hello there. May I help you?" Okay, I'm gonna walk up to him and I'm gonna hold out my hand to shake his hand and see if he accepts it. Oh, he certainly. Ah, yeah. My name's uh, Carter. I have uh, a little appointment to uh, to speak to you about a job offering. Yes, I'm Reza Khan, says the man. He has a uh, uh, dark hair, uh, dark skin. He's obviously right-handed. Uh, and time for the first roll, guys. Give okay. me a roll for perception. Perception. Okay, so it's a 3d6 under my perception, then, yeah? Yes. So, you know, you can do a basic roll, or you can, uh, you know, use the, the built-in stuff here. Well, the built-in stuff, I'm not even 100% sure how that even works. So let's have a little look. Um, da -da -da -da, character sheet, ability skills. I need to make sure this, this, is, this is the bit them. where I slow everything <laughs> down with my lack of knowledge. Well, I don't know how to use perception in this anyway. I'm not there, but I don't know. I wouldn't know how to if I was. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, Gepwin, generally, uh, f uh, your experience uh, with yeah. Reza yourself is very similar. So, I'm just gonna roll three d six. Um. And, you know, I'm just going to I'm going to take my perception and subtract 3d6 from it. And then that should pretty much give me whatever my perception is. That's yes. Whether I if I get a zero, then I pass in as penalties um, perception. It's one of my little macros I use for the other things. All right. So I was paying attention to jar. Is that your role? And get what is that yours? My yeah. question is, is this a visual perception oh, or a general two? perception? Oh, yeah, go, go ahead and roll, because you, you would have uh, had this opportunity as well. D6. Oh, yeah. Is it a visual thing that we're trying yes. to perceive? Okay, because my vision is slightly better than all my other senses. So I got a 12, apparently. Okay, I rolled 4 under my perception, so I rolled like, um, I rolled a 10. So yeah, I got 4 over my per my perception. All right. Uh, doo -doo. My vision. So anyway. Simon did not pick up on this, but uh, the other, you know, the other two of you uh, did. Uh, after, you know, it is very subtle, but it's very clear that uh, Mr. Uh, Khan here only has one functional eye. The other one appears to be fake in some fashion. Ah, like a like a prosthetic oh. without function, or is it like yes. an electronic thing? Okay. Like a like a glass eye. That's interesting mm. in this day and age. Huh. Yes. Okay, well, since I'm shaking his hand and um, he knows why I'm here, I'm just going to plunk myself down on one of these seats. All right. All right. I had to reopen all the character sheets because things are getting weird. <laughs> all right. All right, what are you doing? Um, he's going to... Uh, hesitantly, obviously go up to the desk and um ask how are you <laughs> just kind of quietly though so All right. how are you i am quite well in fact i'm uh, quite glad to see folks coming in um are you here for the job uh yes i am all right well uh, you know, feel free to have a seat get comfortable uh i'll give you the uh, the basic spiel spiel <laughs> excuse me by the way he is much more smooth than i am at talking just in general so uh do, sure. do keep, take that on account as far as uh general perceptions of this guy uh and uh he starts off uh explaining that uh he's looking for uh some some qualified and uh uniquely skilled individuals to work with him as a subcontracting team to uh take care of various miscellaneous uh colonial office bu uh, business uh in short they're looking to put out fires hopefully before they become problems Excellent. and uh and recently they had a, a few vacancies in uh one of his teams and so looking to fill in some of uh, the gap some of the gaps there well i've got a lot of uh a lot of experience with various things, and I'll pass over. I'll, it'll be like equivalent of a, of a CV, I guess, showing uh, some of my history. And anyone who's sort of overseeing this bit of paper will show that uh, I started out with a military history um, back in the day with an honorable discharge because of injury um, in intelligence. 
Although it doesn't go into any specifics <laughs> for obvious reasons. Um, and there's a few other bits and bobs to do with skills. And a lot of it's to do with, with not physical attributes, but it's more to do with observational stuff. Uh, a few other little uh, qualifications and experiences along those lines. Right, cool. I'm going to roll a reaction roll. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. You want me to do any kind of rolls for anything? Uh, what kind of skills might be useful for this? Uh, this isn't really something like fast talk, to be honest. Act but, acting? Uh, acting can work. Okay, I'll try an acting roll. Okay, acting. Acting is a 14. Okay, oh, look at that. I got uh, rolled a 9 in total there. So it's 5 over my, or 5 under my act, my actual acting skill. So that was a pretty good roll. Right. So uh, for uh, having a good approach, um, I'd say that... Uh, Give me a moment here. Double check my, my, my readings here. See, I don't know whether my charisma um, advantage would play any part in that, but I've got oh, two levels. Oh, I am, all, two levels I am in taking that. that account. So, Fantastic. all right. So that actually uh, gives you enough that he he seems generally uh, generally good with the you know what he's being what he's being presented with here. So you just you know by uh, using your acting there, you manage to avoid a poor reaction. <laughs> good, excellent. That's it's always nice to put a good reaction when you're doing a job interview. All right, uh, Jar. How are you going to uh, apply for the job? Um, he's going to start out by saying he is quite the opposite. Um, he doesn't have very many, uh, well, he has close to no official, um, I guess, achievements on Lampton. Um, but he does start to go on about how he's very good with his hands. Um, he on back on his own planet he did um some light electronic repair just to get things functioning again if they weren't working okay. and he doesn't he can't really complain about many of the jobs i guess that he would be willing to do oh i'll do anything for this job <laughs> <laughs> in other words all right well uh, i'll do another roll and uh, you also get a neutral reaction because uh, part you know I, I gave you a a plus two for basically being honest and uh, uh, you know both you guys and uh, and you know uh, um, Emelik you got a, a bonus for your charisma and Jar you got a bonus for uh, you know, being fit so mm. you, you're obviously kind of a big guy so <laughs> <laughs> so basically he's eyed you up and you're fit say eye because yes. he's only got one eye oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, maybe I should stick to just rolling dice instead of actually trying to be funny. <laughs> and, uh, Gep, when you already have the job, so you don't have to worry about the reaction roll here, so... Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> don't, don't worry, Gep, it'll be here, you know, it'll be a few minutes here. All right, well, he goes on to explain, uh, you know, a few basic rules. They don't, you know, f for this kind of work, you know, you need to be professional, you need to be able to follow instructions, but he also is very keen on you guys being self-motivated because some of these missions might take you very, very far away from Lantern, the planet that is. Uh, and so uh, you need to be able to sort of work autonomously without him sort of, you know, keeping track of you constantly. Um, what more, uh, he makes it clear that if you guys say happen to break the law, if he finds out about it, he has to report it. There's sort of a wink, wink, nudge, nudge there. <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, Alex will just uh, smile and, and nod and say, uh, don't worry, uh, I'm, uh, I'm always very discreet and uh, I won't be caught breaking the law. All right. Um, and then he asks, all right, is there any uh, questions before I, uh, you know, uh, offer you up a, uh, we'll call it a training exercise? Hmm, nope. Do I need any special equipment for that? Uh, hopefully not. Uh, the assignment is should be pretty straightforward. Uh, well, first off, uh, we need you, you know, to go pick up your, uh, your 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 number three for this mission, 
And uh, the other bit, part of the mission, and the actual part of the mission, is a pickup itself. So hopefully there shouldn't be any uh, special equipment. Though I will be letting you uh, uh, borrow one of our cars. Hmm, fantastic. Now, oh, I've got no uh, further questions other than the details about the mission. All right. So uh, first off, you'll need to be picking up a uh, individual uh, that would be, uh, 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 you know, it gives uh, your, your full name. I, I'm, you know, correct me if I uh, screw this up. You know, you'll be going to the pick up Simon Ignatius Xander the third. He is a uh, someone else I've also recently hired. He is presently in the Calfoon Wilderness, which is about uh, an hour's drive out of town. Uh, there, you know, the GPS should be able to uh, guide you right to it. Uh, I also uh, will be sending down a more exact uh, location for where we think he's at. Uh, he apparently went out there for the day. I don't actually know what he's up to. But, uh, you know, once you get a hold of him, uh, you'll be going to a uh, do a little bit of investigating. A colleague of mine, or former colleague of mine, seems to have run off with a bit of equipment. Uh, doo -doo -doo, let me get, grab something real quick here so I make sure I'm not screwing up the names and all my windows are going crazy here. Give me one. Uh, <laughs> uh, where's the, the NPCs? Ah, yes. All right. Uh, the colleague is, uh, her name is El Shardata. She is a individual that used to work for the, uh, you know, the colonial administration. And, uh, about a couple of weeks ago, uh, I decided to leave her position uh, willingly. She, you know, we, we, we didn't force her out or anything like that. She just didn't feel like she was a very good fit for us. Uh, unfortunately, on her way out, she may have run off with a piece of equipment. Oh, what sort of equipment are we talking about? A android. Huh. Yeah, I don't know uh, how uh, familiar you are with... Uh, with the various, uh, you know, Android types, but it's is a, a mobile Android. Uh, she usually goes by Mab. Uh, she is not uh, volitional. She doesn't have, uh, you know, sentience or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about that if you're not keen on that sort of thing. But she is uh, very useful equipment for the Colonial Administration, and we kind of like her back. Yeah, I can understand that. Yeah. Don't worry about it. We'll, uh, we'll do what we can to uh, get your little errant droid back. All right, uh, you know, uh, Reza pulls out a uh, uh, what looks like a pen, and it's actually a cell phone because it's the future. Yeah, <laughs> so future. Those, you kind of uh, pull it over the sides, and it's like creates a little, you know, a, a thin membrane that you can poke at and talk on and things like that. Uh, but also, like modern uh, smartphones, has all sorts of computer functions and everything like that. Uh, all the information about uh, Shardata is in this as well as her last known whereabouts. Uh, we don't currently know where she's at, but we do believe she's uh, in the uh, uh, purple district of the city. But again, we don't actually know. Okay. She got any uh, any friends or family she might have hidden with? Got a present address in there, I assume? Uh, yes. The last known address uh, besides the, uh, you know, our offered up high housing when she was working for us uh is uh on uh let me check my notes here the actually i didn't put down a street for name for that uh three 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 four uh let's say uh half a m avenue there we go <laughs> uh apartment 15. okay well, right. we'll pick up Simon and uh, and head over there and see if there's anyone who's seen her. All right. Uh, good luck. And if you uh, need to get in contact with me, uh, feel free to use the phone. It has my number in there. And uh, good luck. Oh, yeah. Oh, and uh, when you find Mab, uh, bring her back uh, here and uh, we'll get, take care of her. Yeah, no problem. No problem. You can do that. All right. Cool. So uh, yep. he gets up office to shake you guys' hands and uh, then it's up to you guys what you do. Okay, well I'll shake his hand and uh, and leave with my new colleague. I'll do the same. Okay, so you know, uh, down uh, 
down the downstairs again. Uh, you are met by uh, assistants, excited looking, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, man who's like, hey, uh, you must be so and so and so and so. And uh, I'm assistant to Mr. Khan. Uh, here's the uh, the keys to the car. It's waiting outside. Cool. I'll I'll take that. I I can I can drive. I can drive a car. I suspect right. it's probably self-drive, but you know, I could drive it if need be. Uh, he mentions that uh, it is uh, self-driving, but you can turn that off. Cool. On the way down in the uh, in the lift, um, as we're because I'm assuming we're heading down, we're going to have eighty something floors. Um, yep. <laughs> I'm going to turn around to uh, turn around to my new colleague and hold up my hand and say, uh, "Well, since we've been wor- since we're going to be working together, I suppose I should introduce myself properly." Uh, Name's Carter, and I'll hold out my hand. I'll return it and shake your hand. Uh, okay. I'm Scott. He introduces himself too. Scott. Yeah, oh, good to meet you. Looks like we're going to be working together. You, uh, you uh, done many, many things like this of hunting people down? Uh, certainly not. So this will be a first for me. Have you done many? Ah, uh, here and there. I've, uh, I've done a few. It's mostly following people to find out where they've uh, hidden things, to be perfectly honest. But, uh, but this shouldn't be too difficult, I wouldn't have thought. Okay. Well, we'll right. head to the car and we'll see if we can pick up this Simon dude. Right. cool. Char, are you cool with this? Yep, I'm just following behind him. All right. Uh, as promised, there is a uh, GPS uh, setup already in the vehicle. Uh, to take you to the uh, the, uh, the the Kalfoon Wilderness, as well as uh, coordinates beyond uh, a little bit more specific than that. Okay, okay. All right. I'll, uh, program, so unless... I'll program them in, um, take manual control, and I'll drive out there myself because <laughs> that kind of guy. <laughs> All right, give me a driving roll. I will give you a driving roll. Oh, you're going to crash the car, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I suspect probably not actually crash it because it would only if something like crazy happens would it really turn into a crash. I hope I don't crash it anyway because my driving's not fantastic. But don't crit or don't well, uh, critically fail. <laughs> well, exactly. I'm not going to critically. Well, I hope I don't critically fail. Okay. Well, that's not a critical fail, but I, I got three, three, three above my skill level. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not like I'm not like putting pedal to the metal. I'm not like ch- taking the corners at full speed, chicaning. You know, I'm not trying to handbrake turns to save on time. It's it's you know taking it easy, just casual. If, if obviously if someone goes nuts nearby and starts swerving into us, then you know. Now, now lucky for you, almost all the other vehicles on the road are self-driving. So they, uh, you know, despite maybe a few, not quite optimal uh you know you know uh, uh, bits of maneuvering uh everyone else moves out of the way and you avoid hitting any uh immobile objects fantastic that's the way i like it these bloody self-drive cars they can they can get out my way all right uh but that uh that, that uh number there unfortunately means you take a little bit of extra time to get to the uh, the wilderness so that's fine better better to be in in control than uh than than just randomly leave it all right so i got another description here if you want me to read it yeah Uh, So it takes about an hour and a half to get to the Calfoon Wilderness, a natural experimentation region where a number of animals and plant life have been released in order to experiment with biosphere building over the years. Periodically, new species are introduced to observe the effects and how they work together or compete. It's large and not well-traveled, though there are a few dirt roads that lead off into the wilderness, and the coordinates that were provided suggest to travel down one in particular. Calfoon Wilderness is at a lower altitude than Latour, and noticeably warmer. In fact, it's almost hot in comparison, and certainly much more humid. The directed to road, according to the GPS, uh, ends about a half hour later, deep in the wilderness. There's no signs or buildings. The dirt path just ends in bushes and trees. However, off to the side could be seen a clearing, just beyond the nearest line of trees. Okay, okay. Any sign of this Simon guy? Well, let's find out. Uh, are you on the new map? Yeah, I see it. Yep. All right, that's about where you're at right now. 
and uh, I'll go in and get your uh, proper uh, dudes uh, set up here. Okay. Oh, there's the car. There's uh, some trees. Fancy. Yes. And I'm guessing there's Fog of War turned on for you guys, right? Um, I can see all the way down, but I can't see the right-hand side. Oh, yeah, okay. me too. Yeah, just right. the right-hand side of the map's blotted out. What's going on? Yeah, crazy, huh? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mutter to myself after I light up a cigarette. Yes, I, I, it's probably like a, a completely, um, mundane cigarette that actually doesn't produce cancer or addiction at all. But hey, you know, he likes that kind of thing. Um, it's and I'm gonna light that up. It is the future. And um, he's going to mutter to himself, what the hell is this guy doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Um, I think as soon as I get out, I'm just going to circle the car a moment just to admire its construction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to... Uh... Wow. Gepwin, you've got some serious background. What the hell is going on? Someone's like revving 50 cars or something? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Probably a motorcycle. <laughs> this would have been appropriate a minute ago when you were driving. Yeah, exactly. It's how rude of them to, to wait until now. Yeah, they're okay. light delayed. <laughs> I'm going to ab observe the area and see if I can spot anything out of place while uh, take another drag on my cigarette. All right. Uh, then give me a perception roll. Okay, okay. Vision, of course. Though I guess a hearing's better too. That's you know. But... Just, just my vision's the only thing that's enhanced. I've just got particularly good eyes. Well, that was a good roll. All right. I think, uh, despite the difficulties involved, you can see a, a bit more of something here. Okay. Feel free to look on over there on the what map. What the hell is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's like a, I mean, elephant head. It's like a bush cut like an elephant or something. Well, I, I didn't, you know, uh, you know, uh, find something uh, as far as uh, tokens uh, that I liked that uh, quite fit out what I was looking for. But it's a, a certainly a non-Earth uh, originated uh, life form of some sort, imported from some other planet. And it's uh, kind of big, kind of mean looking, has all sorts of teeth and tusks, and blends in very well with the foliage. Nice. And? Um, is it a living thing? Uh, yes, certainly. And it hasn't noticed you yet. Does it look like it might be aggressive, like a, like a tusks or predator or... Well, the eyes on the front seem to be kind of close together. Um, but I think, uh, Jar, you might be better at uh, figuring this sort of thing out uh, yourself. Do, -do, do you have a skill that uh, works for this here? Uh, let's go with Survival Woodlands. Could you roll me that? Um. Jar? Yeah, just figuring it out. <laughs> Now I just go ahead and give you a roll. Give me a roll. Uh, your skill it appears to be uh, eight. I will give you a minus one because you don't know what the hell this is. <laughs> <laughs> so am I just doing three d six again? <laughs> yep. I think this pretty much is unless you're rolling for damage. Everything's pretty much three d six with this. Correct. All right. Uh. You don't know much about this thing at all. You're like, well, that's, that's too weird. expected. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing? Well, as long as it's not being aggressive, then fine. But we're still looking out for that Simon guy. Well, what what do we know about this Simon guy? He's not like a weird alien elephant, is he? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not, but yeah. As I say, I, I didn't think that was too likely. Well, you didn't uh, ask your new boss either. Uh -huh. I, th I figured there'd be just like a guy here, just like <laughs> I don't know. Well, do I notice? Hmm, it's not really my environment, though. This this is like uh, I'm 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 more used to city life, you know. This 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 green stuff's just yeah, it doesn't doesn't work for me. Just doesn't do it for me, you know. 
All right, uh, Kepwin, I need you to make give me a roll. All right, just a normal D three or three D six roll. Yes. And uh, Jar and Melik also give me a roll for visual perception. Oh, visual again. I'm supposed to be shooting for low rolls, aren't I? <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, another good roll. Uh, All right, uh, get one. Uh, you know, I, you, the, the roll that you did was for camouflage, just FYI. Uh, and, uh, you know, Alex, you think you see someone in the bush behind the uh, behind the, the creature. Okay. Does it look like he's watching us or watching the creature? <laughs> well, it's a little hard to tell. There's my thing with Jags here. Like, uh, back here. Zooming. There we go. Yep, when you're on the map now. Hey, <laughs> I have appeared. <laughs> oh, right, right the way down. Okay, he's a little bit off the stream, but but trust me, streamy people, they, he's about there. Mm, yeah, I see. Uh, by the way, uh, as you're uh, sort of uh, uh, faffing about, as it way, uh, the creature notices you, Malik. Uh, why does it notice me? <laughs> Oh, because it looked at you. <laughs> <laughs> Does it look particularly aggressive? Well, uh, it starts um, letting out a, a, lo a low rumbling sound. Ah, oh, great. I'm just going to snuff out my cigarette, and I'm just going to back away slowly back towards the car. I don't Darn. deal with I don't do animals. It's, it's just, nah. I'm going to do the same while getting closer to Alex. <laughs> But with a bit more concern <laughs> on my face. All right. Uh, and so uh, we'll go uh, basic initiative here. Bloody thing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're going to we're going to do it real simple. Uh, we're going to be basing off your basic speed. So that means that uh, uh, Simon, you Looks are good. up first. Right. Uh, actually, uh, sorry, uh, uh, Scott, uh, Scott actually hits the six. I thought it was five. Ah. So Scott, what oh, are you yeah, doing? I'm slow as anything. I'll be last. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are you doing? Hmm. <laughs> oh, just here? <laughs> well, yeah, you, are, you just go first because you're faster than everybody. Oh, okay, so, so uh, I've made my way... Pretty much back to uh, the front right of the car, mm -hmm. and I'm just kind of watching the creature. I'm completely clueless as to what it is, um, but I am kind of focused intently on it because it's it's curious. Okay, dokie. Uh, uh, yep, yeah, when go yes. ahead and. Uh... Give me a perception roll to see if you notice the other two guys. Okay. Roll low. Oh. Is that good? Wow. Uh, that is fantastic. <laughs> you, you, you actually see the fabric of space-time. That, that is how good your sight is right now. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah Gepwin, you've, you've been aware of, of them since before they finished left, parking. Before, before we left the office block in the city. You've got guys. You know, in, in, in fact, uh, I've known where uh, you have been every moment since you were born. Damn. Yeah, yeah, uh, 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 Mr. Khan probably uh, gave you a, a ring on your cell phone uh, a few minutes ago, just like, hey, they're probably going to be there in a few minutes. Uh, keep an eye out for them. <laughs> and you did. And, uh, and then this creature wandered up and, uh, well, you, you were hidden in the bush for a little bit and... Uh, Yes. But, uh, it's Observing. now your turn. So the creature hasn't done anything yet. But it has noticed the other two guys, and it seems to be aggressive towards them. Mm. I'm going to shoot this fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I had good things, do I see him ready, getting his gun ready? Uh, it is not Alex's turn mm. yet, so you do not know what he's doing. Ah. Is there an equivalent to hold action? 
Uh, yes. Okay, I will do that and continue observing the creature's reactions. All right, and uh, uh, Gepwin, I'm also going to assume you uh, have your weapon at the ready. Yes, weapon ready, loaded with the uh, with the second ammunition type. Uh, the uh, uh, that that would be uh, the 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 electronet, right? The uh, yeah. Let me take a, whichever one would be more would be most likely to be able to be effective in one shot. <laughs> uh, probably. Do. Uh, for this, uh, give me a uh, a naturalist uh, roll. Naturalist. That's three, right? Okay. Uh, oh. yeah, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, you think definitely that uh, the tranquilizer dart would be the way to go. Okay, tranquilizer dart. Loaded, ready, and observing. All right. So, uh, in that case, it's now the creature's turn. And it has decided that uh, those guys in that car over there, they look like... Things that shouldn't be in its territory. Those gonna start moving towards you guys. Uh, is there a, like go. a law that I'm aware of around here where there's like wildlife is protected in some <laughs> way? Uh, not really. Uh, though uh, you didn't pick up a, a pamphlet on the way in uh, to the wilderness, so we'll find okay. out. <laughs> Fine. But... I mean, I I kind of know about criminality, criminal uh, and and laws to a point. Actually, no. Criminology is the mind of criminals, not actually whether or not things are illegal. I don't actually have any skills specifically to do with knowledge of laws. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the, uh, the, the the creature is uh, moving towards you, uh, guys. Uh, it's not running yet, but it is intently moving towards you, and it's starting to uh, you know, uh, swing its head around and gnash its teeth. Well, either we drive, or either we get in the car, make a lot of noise, and get crushed in the car because it'll be a death <laughs> trap. I suspect. I mean, that—that's my thought. The car is basically a death trap. Um, or, or I just shoot this wild animal because it's like, goodness sakes. Okay, it's like this thing's. Is this thing about to charge at me? I think it probably is. Well, it, se it definitely seems like it's getting up the uh, momentum. Fine, fine. I'm just gonna pull out my my pistol, and I'm gonna. <laughs> and then at the moment, the moment it looks like it's building up a charge or getting within range, I'm gonna put it down. So I'm I'm literally just gonna get my pistol out, and I'm just gonna just cover it with the pistol. All right. If it if it charges at me or gets within striking range or makes sudden movements, I'm just gonna pop it in the head. Okay. Um. Then, uh, get it unless you want to act, we're back to Jar. See. So he's pointing a gun at it, and it started aggressively moving towards them? Yes. Okay. So well, I could probably start tranking it. All right. So uh, give me a, a two-hit roll. Okay. Is that still a three? I'm not familiar with this system. Yeah, you know, a, a, a 3d6. Yes. You need a tech. Okay. Is your skill. Then, all right, you made it by three. The uh, creature is not uh, putting up a defense at the moment, so uh, you go ahead and uh, uh, be hit. And uh, I am sort of hand waving this because this is sort of your first combat, guy. So you know, <laughs> I'm not going to be factoring in things like range modifiers yet. So this is this is the semi cinematic intro. <laughs> that 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 works for me. All right, so uh, you uh, hit. Roll me, uh, what was it, uh, 1d, so uh, go ahead and type in a roll, sorry, slash roll, uh, 1d6. Slash roll, 1d, oops, d, 6. Mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> roll, 1d, 6. Dyslexia is kicking in. There we go. <laughs> All right, you actually uh, managed to get through its uh, damage res uh, resistance. Uh, so now I get to roll to do that. All right, I I'm gonna double check this, but I think your tranquilizer dart is actually uh, quite effective. Uh, do -do -do. Okay. Moment. Probably should have had this open a moment ago, but. <laughs> Simon uses a trank dart. 
It is super <laughs> effective. <laughs> It's actually just barely effective. Uh, if you roll that, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Well, that's anything. not as impressive then. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, well, I'm probably going to end up. The moment you open fire, I'm pretty much going to be like, okay, fine, we're putting this thing down. I'm going to tranquilize it permanently. All right. Uh, the uh, the dart does uh, does does make contact. It does pierce its uh, you know thick but not too thick hide. Uh, and it starts to wobble. It's it's its motivation seems to be suddenly very sapped. Oh well, if it's not actually approaching any further, and then I'm just gonna keep I'm just gonna keep my pistol trained on it in case it uh, makes any more sudden moves towards me or I don't know the car. I suppose we should probably look after the car as well. Try yeah. anyway. All right, uh, there is gonna be one more round before it. Uh, you know before. Uh things conclude here but uh, uh jar do you want to do anything um okay yeah, i'm gonna realize it it's probably a bit too late to pull out my pistol but <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna start to take it out anyway and i do notice that it is starting to wobble even though i can't really read the creature very well and i'm just gonna hold my ground there because it doesn't look like it's going to reach. All right, uh, we're, uh, uh, you know, uh, actually, uh, yeah, uh, we're back to uh, uh, Gepwin. Uh, you, uh, you you hit on the last turn. Uh, the tranquilizer dot, uh, you know, does have two shots if you want to take another. I may as well. Uh, roll right. to hit, which is the... That doesn't look good. Uh nope. <laughs> the yeah the, that uh, exactly makes it though because your skill is thirteen and I'm not factoring in range or anything like that for this combat. Uh, so that does hit. Uh, roll me uh, the one d six again. E. Get four or better. <laughs> oh yeah, certainly. All right. Uh, it you know the combat's over. It it it's like oh. I'm going to fall asleep now. And it falls over and is asleep. <laughs> Yay! Thank goodness for that. Hooray! It's now gone sleepy time. All right, so combat's over. Combat's um, over. So oh. free movement. Yay. Yep. <laughs> right, I'm going to wander over to it. And, and you know, my pistol's still out, but it's like just like casually held in my hand, pointing down sort of thing. And I'm going to look over uh, to this other guy, and I'm looking up and down and say, uh, You Simon? Yes, sir. You chaps should be more careful driving into the wilderness. These these chameleon pig rhinos can be a bit dangerous when it's mating season. Ah, so I can see. What the hell are you doing out here? There's some healthy exercise. You boys were a bit slow. Strong body, strong mind. Hike in the wilderness does you good. <laughs> I'll tell you a word for it, pal. Um, Khan, uh, he says you've, uh, you've been signed up to, for a little, a little mission. Yes, us. they thought you boys might need a professional tracker. <laughs> Gentleman yeah. adventurer, knowledge of a thousand worlds, and all-around fun guy. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully our next quarry isn't going to be, uh, wandering around in the bushes. But if they are, then, then that's good. It'll be good to have you on board. Indeed. Okay, then. You finished here, or is this this thing gonna be all right here? And I it'll, kind of prod it with my boot. It'll wake up with a bit of a headache and in not too good a mood. Okay, let's uh, yeah, let's let's leave it with that. Yeah, for the record, it will be out for about half an hour. <laughs> now you did say it was mating season, so there's more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Where well, there's one, there's more. Okay, cool. I'm going to head back to the car then. All right. All right. I will follow. Jar? Following as well. All right. Cool. So you guys get back to the car and what do you do? Okay. Well, we might as well set the uh, the GPS to uh, the purple district uh, on uh, 3334 uh, Haft, whatever it was, Avenue. I, I can't remember. Avenue. Yeah. Um, apartment 15, where this uh, um, mob 
android may have been stashed, but I doubt it very much. I think this El El Shadata, I think, the the woman we're looking for, isn't isn't she? Yes. Yeah, that's uh, El Shadata's uh, uh, previous address, uh, our last known address. Okay, okay. I'm going to set the auto drive there, um, and I'm going to have a little look at the phone that I got from Khan, see if uh, see if there's more information about it. So I'll let the car drive itself for now. All right. Uh, are you going to share this information with everyone, or are you going to absolutely? Keep it yeah, yeah, yeah. This is yeah, we're all we're all part of a team. So whatever information I I, I find in this thing, I'll uh, I will of course share. All right. Uh... Lucky you guys, you actually looked at the info. <laughs> uh, it has a picture for uh, for El Shadarta. Uh, she is, uh, uh, you, know, you, know, you know, despite the sort of India and uh, sounding name, she's actually very white. Um, she is listed as having a cybernetic arm a, on her left her left arm specifically. Uh, she uh, is also you know, she, you know, it has a few notes that seem to be just kind of thrown in there, like someone, like. Like this is an employment record sort of situation, so it's like, oh, this is something important to know about this person. Uh, that they are, uh, you know, uh, someone who's very good at uh, electronics and security, and uh, is maybe not a very friendly individual. Okay. They uh, they seem to take a lot of joy in getting into fights. Okay. So we should expect um, them not to come quietly. I think it's probably. Uh... Well, you never know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty certain they're not going to come quietly. This is just a gut feeling I have here. <laughs> you, uh, the rest of you guys have any any interesting reactions? What do you think, guys? I think we're going to probably uh, end up in potentially a fight with this girl. Possibly. Our good friend Khan has been a bit sparse on the information. Yeah. I mean... It's, uh, but then again, if they had more information, they probably wouldn't need to hire us lot, I guess. Or if they can move like through more official dirty. channels. Okay, okay. Is she good looking? In general, uh, you know, what's her kind of, like, on the advantages, disadvantages scale? Is she, uh... uh like... L looks fairly normal, actually, uh... Nothing too particularly, you know, pretty about her, but nothing particularly, you know, you know ugly either. Yeah, she's sort so. of average, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fair enough. You know, it, uh, what information in there is about the android? This Mab is it? Mab the android? Mab. Mab. Uh, uh, Mab uh, is uh, it doesn't have any pictures, but uh, the uh, the you know it does say obvious android uh, as far as the description, comma. Uh, Pink eyes. Huh. So, read with that as you like. <laughs> Fair enough. And uh, the uh, specialization for this particular android uh, appears to be uh, biological research. Biological research. Oh, yes. not your basic servant bot. Nope. Or oh, it serves people in biological ways. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I just, yeah. Um, fine, you, you okay. You want to find out for that for yourself later. <laughs> just, on, we're not talking about out of session nonsense here. We're, we're <laughs> keeping this above board. Yes, yes. Yeah, we're, we're, we're aiming for the PG 13 demographics. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, biological research. Fair enough. I'm going to just go over the notes and uh, just commit them to memory as the uh, the, the car's heading back. Um, and I'm then going to, as, as, as that happens, I'm going to lean back towards Simon and say, uh, uh, well, we didn't exactly uh, have a traditional kind of uh, introduction, but, but the name's Carter, Alex Carter. Good to meet you, Carter. Name is si Simon Ignatius Xander the Third, but I do not. I obviously do not insist on full titles here. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I will know. <laughs> <laughs> and your I, colleague. I... Well, this is Scott, and uh, we uh, we ended up getting ending up in meeting in Khan's office, actually accepting the job at the same time. Hmm. 
Quite the interesting man. Yes, yeah. I never knew much about him before he contacted me. Oh, pro same situation here, actually. First time meeting him was in that room. Yeah, uh, an old buddy of mine from the military. He uh, he passed on the name. I uh, I tend to mix up the jobs that I do quite a bit, a little bit here and there, uh, contract work, investigations, that sort of thing. So uh, so yeah, every now and again I like to pick up something a little bit more official. Um, keeps the keeps the money ticking over. Alright, um, by the way, the, the, the it is a long car ride, so if you guys want to uh, do any other sort of get, it, get to know to get, uh, know each other, this was a perfect opportunity. <laughs> the expositional well, perhaps, car uh, ride. Yes, <laughs> uh, as well as to uh, you know, discuss uh, how to approach the, the upcoming situation. I don't suppose those tranquilizers become people safely, do they? Oh. I don't know because I didn't make the special rules for this. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> uh, yes, they yes. do. <laughs> you know, the the tranquilizers would not work on, say, uh, an android, but uh, that's why you have the other uh, functions there. Mm, interesting. Yes, a trusty I elephant gun here should be able to handle us through most situations, though it is obviously much more suited to the wilderness than the cities. I'm just thinking about worst case scenario. If... Uh, if this El Shadata decides to uh, put up a bit of a fight, I mean, I've I've got my own stuff, but uh, but yeah, I'll probably be easier if we've got more than one way of bringing her in without hurting her or killing her. Yes, it is always very difficult to unkill, so best avoid it if possible. Absolutely, that's why I have uh, this little number, and I and I draw a different gun than the one you guys saw previously. Um, and for those of you who have noticed it, it is actually a sonic-based weapon. So it is it's a pistol designed specifically for stunning people. So yeah, hopefully if uh, she doesn't decide to come quietly, we can, uh, between the between the three of us, we can bring her, bring her in. And I'm just going to then proceed to check the batteries on it and go through and check my equipment, um, go through the different... Um, flashlights that I have, the pen light, make sure that attachment works on both my pistols. Basically doing general kind of equipment checking at this point. And as, and as well on my little handheld computer that I have. Cool, cool, cool. Anything else uh, the other two of you are doing? No? Okay. <laughs> it's it's early. Oh, it's gonna no. be one of those things. The first session is always the awkward one. I'm yes. always bad with role plays, um, especially um, when you have people that haven't role played in the system before. I mean, I'm new to the system, um, and yeah, it's it's gonna be one of those things where it's gonna be a bit of a bit of a uh, a, 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 t a stop and start kind yes, of. Yes, there's thing. definitely a learning curve. <laughs> All right. Uh, by the way, Jar, about mm. forty five minutes into the uh, the drive back, give me a roll. Like a combat roll? <laughs> Just a roll. Well, <laughs> that's not, that's not good. Yet. Yeah, that's not a good <laughs> roll. If it's a, yeah, that's not yeah. at all. Jari, these guys, these guys you're uh, hanging out with, something about them makes you feel uncomfortable. Uh oh. Take with that. Take that as you as you like, as far as uh, information goes, but. <laughs> Just hanging out with them so long, it's starting to kind of get on your nerves. <laughs> well, I, I feel they've been possibly doing some shady business, of course, due to how they talk and the... Um, he, he, there's just no um, filter for the showing off the guns he has. <laughs> and it does make me a little nervous. <laughs> It's it's non-lethal. <laughs> well, the, well, the, the second one, anyway. All right, so that, that's you know, unless there's anything else, so uh, we can go ahead and fast forward off to uh, uh, that uh, address you were given. That sounds good. Very yeah, well. All right, so the car pulls up be, uh, before a uh, a 
uh, fairly smallish for this city, for Latour, uh, you know, an apartment building. And uh, it's in kind of a rundown part of town. Uh, what's, you know, sometimes called, you know, the, the old city, the Purple District. Uh, it's, the, the oldest buildings are literally about a thousand years old. <laughs> wow. Uh, you know, because uh, this colony has been set up for quite some time. And, uh, but uh, this building is sort of, a bit newer than some of the really old ones, but it's uh, still definitely not in good shape. Uh, there's no doorman. The uh, you know, the front door, in, in fact, is missing, so you can just walk right on in. And, uh, yeah, what you guys doing? Oh. I don't have a map for this one, so. Oh. <laughs> Seems our employer does not house his employees particularly well. Yeah, this place has uh, seen better days. Okay, I'm going to just, like, have a little look around. Um, at the outside, um, it said apartment 15. Is there any obvious way of knowing which apartment 15 would be from the outside? Is there like four apartments per floor or do you know what I mean? What's the layout of the, of the apartment block? Uh, the, uh, from, from the looks of things, especially peeking inside, uh, you could probably guess that the apartment 15 would be on the second floor. Uh, there's also a, uh, a row of, uh, buzzer buttons up at the front door. Though it doesn't look like that actually works, and they are organized by floor, um, and that does appear to be the case for the second floor. Okay, okay. Well, um, I'm just gonna wander up there. Is there a, like I, I guess there's nobody who's like in charge of the building, like a building manager or anything. No one obvious. Then obvious. Well, if there's nothing obvious, then I'm just gonna head up to the second floor. All right. Uh, what you guys doing? Are there people hanging around? Ah, good question. Uh, yes, there are a few people uh, hanging out, uh, you know, not necessarily in front of this building, but other buildings nearby. Uh, as I said, this is kind of a rundown part of town. Mm -hmm. So there are people that are just like, eh, hey, we're just going to hang out outside, smoke something, you know, whatever. Um, and, you know, just kind of congregate. You know, okay. It's pretty high density, so sometimes it's nice just to get outside and away from people. So mm. but Nobody's hanging, in, nobody in the lobby or the building. Uh, no, it's in, in fact, it's one of those uh, uh, situations where there's like a, a hallway in and there's like apartments right off it right away. Seems mm. to be about six apartments per floor and then like a stairway going up. All right, I'll follow Carter up. All right, Jar, what are you doing? Um, probably going to wander over to the button, <laughs> give it a, just a quick tap to see if it does call the, uh, the apartment. All right, uh, then... give me a roll. That's ooh. Well, and you're electrocuted. <laughs> it does nothing. <laughs> All um, right, I, I just followed them that up too. All right, uh, if you'd gotten a critical failure, yeah, it would give you shock. Uh, critical success would actually have worked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys go up to uh, number fifteen. Yep. And. Hmm. Do I have anything that would help me examine the door since all of my stuff is nature based? <laughs> well, the uh, the door is uh, made out of uh, something at least looks like it's wood. Uh, there is a number 15 on there. Uh, it is uh, on a little plate. So, you know. Uh, I'm is... assuming the door is closed. It is closed. Uh, there is a peephole. And, but otherwise, it's fairly low tech. Okay, okay. Is there a, a key? Is there any kind of keyhole or thing like that? And I mean, I know this is the future, but you never know. They might have a traditional key lock, uh, keyhole. Uh, the uh, the doorknob appears to be a uh, fingerprint uh, based uh, unlocking mechanism. Cool, cool, cool. Could Are still there... be open, but <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Is there like is it every like a really tight kind of? Um... Uh, is, is the door really flush with it, or would you know things be able, you know very small things be able to get under or, or through the edges of the uh, door? Yeah, yeah. This is uh, as I said before, a very rundown part of town. It's not well kept, uh, and there, it's a good possibility that this place has been renovated poorly several times over, uh, and so there there is room to perhaps. Uh, slide something under the door if that's what you're looking for. I'm not thinking of sliding. I'm thinking of just taking out my small little computer, booting up my Swarmbot software, and sending in a swarm of surveillance um, uh, bots. Cool. Okay, that's 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 what I think I'm going to do at this point. I'm 
they're gonna send in that they're technically flyers but they um they can still sneak under they, could, they can still sneak under and see what's going on there so i'll 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 just kind of uh stand to the side of the door not in front of it and then i will just order my surveillance bots to go under the door or, or through whatever gaps there are available and um mm. subtly distribute themselves and give me a picture of what's inside well, i suppose there's a right, reason uh... you're against knocking well, <laughs> what we've told, been told by Khan is uh, she doesn't exactly uh, want to be found. After all, according to him, she stole an android. I don't think that she's uh, going to want to be caught. Uh, uh, Besides, she's probably not in there. If he's going to do breaking and entering, I want to get my net loaded and ready to go in case of a runner. Well, technically, <laughs> I'm not breaking anything and I'm not entering. I, I, I'm, I'm just standing here playing on my computer. It's just not my fault that there's a there's a fuck ton of insects just swarming around. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, so you're getting your net ready. You're, you're doing the robots. Jar, are you doing anything? Um, I'm just uh, leaned up against the door on the opposite side of the hallway. All right. Just kind Seriously of watching. watching. Yep. All right. Uh, so, uh, in that case, uh, Alex, your uh, little robots uh, sneak through the door. And they start giving you uh, feedback. Uh, the apartment is pretty craptastical overall and very, very not well kept. Uh, okay. There's garbage on the on the counters. There's stains on the carpet. There's a couple holes in walls, like someone punched them or maybe a few bullet holes too. <laughs> oh wow! Is this like new, newly new damage, or is this old damage? Uh, most of it looks pretty old, actually. Now, okay. in fact, there's a couple of places where it's uh, attempts to fix it have been made. Uh, okay, you also, but... in in the main room, you also pretty quickly uh, detect that there's somebody sleeping on the uh, the couch, uh, and they are very much certainly not El Shadarta. Uh, in fact, it seems to be a um, older, very very overweight gentleman, of uh, you know of uh, you know, well basically in his underpants. Oh great! So basically, this is this is our last known address. This is probably the new occupant then. I'm guessing. Fine. Okay, I'm gonna recall the the, the bots. Um, put them away. Um, and I'm gonna show on the screen of my little computer to these guys. So these guys have seen everything that I've just seen. Okay, I'm not keeping secrets from these guys. Um, and um, I'm gonna say, what do you think, guys? Looks like it's a new occupant. I think we should. Uh, I don't think they're gonna be a runner. No. I think they may have some information. Absolutely. I think you're right. I'm going to bang on the door. All right. Uh, let's see if they wake up. Oh, they, do. So they certainly do. Um, I'm, I want to put my gun away so I don't look threatening when they answer the door. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. We probably, the three of us probably between us look moderately threatening anyway. Uh, Jar, are you doing anything before they uh, show up? I'm just maintaining position. All right. So uh, the, the, uh, there's a, a, a slight uh, change of light coming through the people, and a uh, uh, few moments later, they you hear from the other side, "What do you want?" Hey, hi, how you doing, man? Um, you uh, you know the person who used to live here before? We're uh, we're we're looking for uh, somebody. You've been been in this apartment long? Two years. Why? Ah, do you know uh, do you know anything about the person who used to live here? What person that used to live here? Woman by uh -huh. the name of El Shadarta. I can't read my notes. <laughs> El Shadarta. El Shadarta. <laughs> All right, it's time for a reaction roll. I'm gonna put on my pretty face. <laughs> <laughs> Can I use my charisma to make it good? I have charisma. Uh, yeah, yeah, your charisma is being factored in. Okay. Uh, are you know, would you say that uh, any of you guys are using? skills to help boost this uh this reaction by the way mm. absolutely i'm gonna be uh i'm gonna be using my um charisma and oh i don't know whether acting is the right kind I of think thing fast mm. talk would be the best option here if you guys got it i will uh, i will ro i will roll fast talk i could biology at him <laughs> <laughs> What's biology the, i know the difference between meiosis and mitosis is where cell division <laughs> even it's like, no, I, I, that's probably yeah uh, Probably not great. Fast talk. Um, <laughs> fast talk. My natural fast talk is is thirteen. 
But I've got two levels of charisma as well. Oh, that's not a great roll. <laughs> but I have two right, points so... of, of, of charisma, so... Alright, uh... I will say that uh, that doesn't uh, doesn't hurt your char uh, charisma uh, bonus to the reaction. Uh, it also uh, doesn't necessarily help very much. Okay. Um, that said, you do get a good reaction because uh, he rolled pretty high. Um, to do Chris for aid. All right, so uh, they they s s uh, tell you uh, straight up. Oh yeah, L. She used to be my roommate a few years back. What do you, you know? What do you want with her? Oh, it's uh, we need to settle a few accounts uh, with the place that she used to work for. Uh, she didn't collect her last payment, and uh, the account rejected the transaction. So, yeah, we're just trying to sort that out. My buddies here, uh, we're about to head out on a night out, so uh, they thought they'd tag along while I was uh, trying to find out a new account details for her. All right. Well, she uh, lives on the other side of town nowadays, but uh, she still comes around. I think... Uh... I think she still go, goes and uh, visits a bar a couple blocks over. Uh, might be, I don't know where her new place is. She moved a few times uh, since she lived here. and uh, But uh, yeah. I can tell you the, you know, the dress for the bar. Oh, that'd be fantastic. I'm sure she'll be quite pleased. But, yeah, I don't know why she's moved around so much. It's been a right pain. I mean, the company said, huh, you know, if she doesn't want to collect her last payment, then that's fine. But, ugh, you know, you know what these big corporations are like. All right. I'll... Uh, Anything else? Well, I'm assuming he's given us the details now. Yeah, he, he gives you some some details. It's a, a bar that's oddly enough called the Dagger Bar. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, hey, quick, quick question, Isix. Yep. How noticeable are the surveillance bots, the swarm? Um, I would have to do a little bit of reading, uh, but. Uh... And that's what I didn't. You may have noticed I did a roll earlier to see if they uh, they woke him up, but uh, uh, let's let's go ahead and you know start moving forward, and, and I'll try to see if I can come up with an answer for you. Because as I say, if I think that these are the sorts of things that could be left, you know, actually there's lots of little holes in the apartment and everything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave. Um, I'm going to leave one of my. Do I actually have more than one surveillance swarm? Let me just double check quickly, quickly, quickly. Swarm but swarm but surveillance. Mm -hmm. No, I just have the one because I couldn't afford a second one. Damn it. Um, well, don't you have your one uh, robot friend? Uh, yeah, but I don't really know anything about him. Actually, then again, yes. Okay, <laughs> what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to leave the uh, the swarm bots because now he's awake. I, I don't want to send them in there. I'm going to okay. instruct the swarm bots to stay around the door and around the, in the hallway. And if if he leaves. Um, then I'm going to instruct them to go into the apartment and hide themselves around, and then right. keep surveillance going. Um, okay. Uh, the the swarm and, bots, uh, you know, following the instructions, start taking up positions uh, on on the ceiling in the hallway, uh, mainly in the weird spots that seem to be kind of in various places for no good reason. Yeah, yeah, that's that sounds good. And I'm just going to keep uh, if, if they if they identify, I'm assuming they can um, recognize her face because i've got a, a computer file of her face can i upload it to them to get them to alert uh, me if they identify give me a roll uh, if you have computer operations that'll be useful i have electronic operation robots okay go for that it seemed it seemed like a good idea if i need to give complex instructions <laughs> to robots if i figured i Let's might get us. a skill <laughs> okay 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 right Electronics, do, 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 do. robots. Um, that's not a bad roll, but it'll probably fluff. Oh no, that's that's not bad. That, that's it's a it's a pass, assuming I don't get any penalties. All right, uh, they uh, you upload the software that uh, the, the, the 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 pattern for her face, and they seem able to maybe recognize her, provided she's not wearing a disguise or something like that, or sure, sure. keeping her face hidden. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to leave them, let them go dormant unless they detect activity, and, and yeah, put my computer away and walk off. All right. Let's, let's uh, see if we can go to this bar. Uh, the other two guys uh, doing anything here? Has he already gone back into his apartment? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He seems to be, uh, unless you, know, you got something else to ask him, he'll just kind of, you know, head back. I was just going to give him a yeah. smile of reassurance that we were innocent. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, we're not trying to apprehend her at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gepwin, you got anything? Nope. All right, cool. Uh, the guy on the other side uh, seems to have gone back to uh, probably the couch to sleep off whatever he was doing. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> All right, so uh, heading off to the bar? Yeah, absolutely. All right, it's time for a new map. Yay! I'm bored of looking at that weird alien elephant. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Hopefully, you guys on the thing here? We're at the bottom. Yes. All right, I'll go ahead and put your uh, new dudes here. I forgot to import the car, but, you know. It's fine, it's enough. fine. Yeah. Unless we're going to drive the car into the bar. Yeah, it, it's, we'll, we'll, we'll assume that it's, you know, parked somewhere nearby. Hmm. Can right. you Batman it and connect your phone to the car? Uh, probably. <laughs> uh, remote driving might be a, a bit risky. <laughs> um, make sure you get all your checks properly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But then again, you can self-drive anyway, so I'd, you could just instruct it to go somewhere, and it probably <laughs> did. Hell, it probably dropped us off and then parked itself. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, I'm gonna, gonna, uh, you know, get myself ready. Bars, I can deal with bars. I'm gonna stroll in there because right, I so like bars. It's, bars it's normal bar me. operating hours and everything. Uh, it's a little early, but uh, the bar does appear to be open because uh, you guys have been running around for a few hours now. Yeah, I, no, no, no time is too early for the bar. And uh, from the looks of this, this seems like the kind of place that there's probably people drinking all hours, honestly. Uh, maybe not like 6 a.m., but definitely at 8. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, it's still in the Purple District, a.k.a. the, the rundown part of town. Uh, and uh, there are the, the front did have windows at some point, but uh, they've apparently been broken enough that they just sealed them up and you know with uh, bricks and things like that so cool well, i'm gonna stroll in and uh find a good place to, to sit after getting a drink all right uh Same. go ahead and start moving you guys in and i will reveal the bar See wow that, right? there's a lot of people Ooh. already act who the what the hell's going on there <laughs> <laughs> and i got a uh I got a uh, a description for you too. Wow! The ring race. <clears throat> yeah. Excuse me. <clears throat> Low hum of popular pop music fills your ears as you enter the bar. There seems to be a thick layer of grease on every single surface, a result of centuries of spilled booze and the burning of various narcotics. Places filled with patrons and smoke. Most of the patrons are enjoying their drinks and light conversation. The bartender spots you quickly and then proceeds to pretend like he didn't see you, seemingly uninterested in strangers. However, some of the patrons do soon start to notice you as well. By the shifty-eyed looks, they don't seem too welcoming. Thankfully, none of them seem at all interested in challenging you either. In the right corner is the bar proper. To the left is a small raised platform that can be used as a stage. Perhaps this place plays live music from time to time. Overall, the bar is kind of claustrophobic with low ceilings and tight walls and dark colors. The right wall has a door on it marked with a toilet sign, obviously leading off somewhere where you might be able to, you know, use the bathroom. Well, so. that's at least something. Or oh, they've got all the mod cons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, uh, okay. What you guys doing? Straight up to the bar. And I'm gonna order a gin. All right. I uh, uh, the bartender uh, doesn't say much, but uh, does pour you a drink. It's gin. It's not poison. Nothing like that. Nothing crazy going on. Um, and they seem very disinterested in talking to you. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not interested in talking to them either. <laughs> well, I will join him. Order myself a whiskey. I'll, I'll pretend uh, this other person uh, <laughs> is sitting elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> out of the way. Get out of the way. 
That one's so, uh... that one's hugging two chairs. I mean, <laughs> I there's quite a lot of them are hugging two chairs. Actually, come to think of one it, one for I mean, each foot. The, 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 the bar style I wanted, but it was too big, so I just shrunk it. <laughs> <laughs> but um. You know, just just pretend they're fat or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I, I can I can pretend that. All right. Uh, so you you get your whiskey, um, and uh, you know, once again, bartender provides. Uh, doesn't seem to say much. And I'm going to make a roll. And uh, overall, it's pretty mediocre uh, booze for the both of you. Jar, what are you doing? Um, uh, are these just like pillars by the door? Uh, yes. All right, so I think I'm just going to lean up and keep an eye out on everything as everyone's walking around. Uh, drinking isn't his favorite thing to do, nor is the environment, so he's just going to stay posted. All right, uh, so Jar is having a lookout. Uh, you know, go ahead and give me a, a roll for perception then. Seven. All right, uh, that makes your perception by two. Um, I should probably actually have rolled uh, in particular here. Two. Oh, I didn't actually pick up that skill for him. Hmm. But uh, they, that's a good roll, but they still failed. <laughs> oh. So, uh, Jar, um, actually, I should probably uh, do, the, do the other uh, the couple people here as well. Well, I'm gonna stand at the bar and I'm gonna casually watch the uh, watch everybody using my special kind of casually in, casually watching everybody without looking like I'm watching everybody skill. All right, <laughs> Malik, uh, you know you'll get you'll be doing that, but Jar got first first That's dibs fine. here. That's fine. That's so, fine. Well, there um, is so... specifically a skill that does exactly what I just said, so it's like yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Jar, uh, you think you s recognize a couple people in the bar uh so uh specifically this person see a little circle thing with jig there mm -hmm. and this person if i can uh back there all there right go. uh the uh, the person up here does kind of uh look like this uh l you're looking for uh she is uh, has a hoodie on so and keeping her face kind of down at the moment and generally seems to be trying to avoid, you know, uh, you know uh, eye contact with people, but you get enough of a general sense that you think this might be the person you're looking for. The person over here, you don't actually know who they are, but you think you recognize their face from somewhere. Just kept no, no remembering of where, possibly? Yes. If you uh, had been uh, living on this planet uh, uh, for you know more than the short amount of time you had, I would give you who they are, but uh, you haven't been around long enough. Okay. Okay, they might be someone famous. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Way right, if we so, could do fanboy squeals and get an autograph. <laughs> right. Um, so Jar, uh, you know, uh, b you know, before uh, Melik starts, uh, you know, you know, sip a nudge drink and uh, take a, have a look. Are you going to be doing anything else? Um, I think I'm going to make my way around against the walls and then just sort of <laughs> <laughs> get, get by him and right. nudge him just to peer over at the other uh, person. Being that very I not suspicious, skirting the edge of the bar. I think this uh, dun, dun, dun. demands a perception roll from our uh, our peoples here. Uh, where's my sheet there? Uh, um, all right. Uh, and oh, they're completely obvious, oblivious. And yeah. They, okay. All right. So, uh, with uh, Jar's assistance, uh, would you like to make an observation roll? Yeah, I would. Because observation is a thing that I can do. Is observation, and it's a. Is that specifically? perception or vision uh you have a skill for it yes i do it, it's based on perception um my vision is like one point higher so i don't know whether i use just the i don't know well, uh, i'll, I'll with, use the wrong 
All right, with, with uh, Jar's assistance, you also get a plus one, so. Wow. Okay, I roll 11 under yep. my, <laughs> my observation <laughs> skill. That's almost but, a crit. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's actually, uh, that means you rolled a four, correct? Oh, yes. Yes, yeah, so that is actually a crit. You of course, know it is in this exactly, system, yeah. Yeah, you know that this is uh, El Shadarta, uh, and you pick up on that very quickly. You also know that she has noticed you guys. Okay. She is, uh, you know, aware that there's some people that aren't regulars in the in the bar. They're acting a little suspicious. Okay, okay. And uh, with a roll like that. Uh, you probably also catch out of the corner of your eye that uh, the individual over in this corner uh, is actually a, uh, a famous musician who seems to be uh, enjoying some time in a dive bar. <laughs> <laughs> like they do. Yeah. Like they do. Male or female musician? Uh, male. Uh, they, uh, they're, what's the name here? Uh, their name is Tandem. Uh, they are a... A quote, uh, classical guitarist. Oh, wow, okay. AKA for uh, this uh, era, that'd be like Metallica, so. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's, yeah, that, that works. Cool. Hmm. <laughs> Not that I'm actually going to approach, but, you know, I'm, I'm still thinking that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, okay. I'm just gonna sip on my drink and and not look that way. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make it obvious. I'm. You know, my my observation means that. That that's the good thing about that skill is that it, apparently it's it's you're 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 keeping an eye out for things and watching an area without making yes. it obvious that you're watching the area. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I do like uh, that skill. So I'm just gonna uh, be. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna be chill. I'm gonna be chill about this and just carry on. <laughs> I'm gonna sip on my gin. So does that In mean fact, I have you, no you're... idea what's going on then? If this hasn't well, we'll obvious. get to that in a moment. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, Mr. Alex there has, uh, has succeeded so well that you guys don't know he's observing. <laughs> I, I probably look like I'm just literally oblivious and drinking gin. <laughs> but, uh, yes, uh, Gapwin, if you uh, wish to uh, make an appropriate observation to try to uh, uh, catch on to uh, where El is, is hanging out, okay. trying to be uh, all sneaky-like. That's probably pretty right, good. You, you catch... Yeah, you catch on uh, that uh, this is uh, probably your target here. Are you going to do right. anything? I am debating. I guess if I thought of it and I took impulsive as a disadvantage, I should do something. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I should. I will go over and sit down and say, excuse me, is anyone sitting here? And just sit before they say anything. <laughs> <laughs> interesting interesting move there all right um so there is the, the the guy on you know on the right here you have no idea who that guy is um but that uh you know closer yeah it's pretty clear this is l uh, and she looks up to you and let's see how she reacts oh it's actually not too bad um not really anything here that could affect that and that kind of thing is kind of good for a bar since there's not a lot of places that aren't occupied other than the uh, uh, by the virtuoso guy, guitar guy over there uh, and uh, so she's she looks up and she's like no it's not taken <laughs> thank you very much I'm new in town just found this establishment I will say this is not my favorite drink so far <laughs> she looks at her own drink it's acceptable. I imagine there's not a lot of choice around here. Ah, where am I not from? Gentleman, explorer, adventurer. <laughs> just, you know, drifting through town on my way to the wilderness, I was just exploring and observing the local wildlife preserve. You're a long way from the preserve. What yes. brings you to a place like this? Oh, this is the problem with impulsive. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to resist it. Ah, that's boring, though. Resisting boredom. <laughs> ah, finished oh. a 
wonderful hike and met up with my friends here to just explore around the local dive establishments. Get a lay of the land. You can never see a city until you've been to the under, to the underserved, not not touristed areas. Mm. I'm just going to sigh she... loudly and shake my head when hearing him <laughs> say that. Just... Question is, does she believe you? Uh, what's the default for fast talk here? <laughs> Let me double check here. That's knee strike. That's for later. Um... <laughs> Uh, IQ minus five or something, is it? Uh, That's what it says on my yes. thing. Uh, uh, so, uh, wait, uh, unless you have fast talk. No, nope. I don't believe you do. You do not have acting either. So, uh, IQ minus five is your huh. base skill. Go ahead and give that a roll. I have to rely on my wonderful charisma. <laughs> right. And the, 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 the funny thing is, she gets a roll as well. Uh, so, uh, you're, how much did you, uh, fail that by, by the way? Oh, where's my IQ? Da, 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 da. IQ is 10. So if I get a charisma modifier, my, that would be, my charisma okay, is, certainly. my charisma is 2. So, if it's minus 5, I guess 4-ish? What would I need? <laughs> yeah, you, you fail it by about four. If, yeah. if you're getting minus five because you're unskilled, plus two because of the charisma, rolled an eleven. Yeah, the, the difference is about four. All right. All right. So it's close call, but she seems to buy your story. <laughs> wow! You managed to just <laughs> la- blag your way through that somehow. <laughs> yeah. She, uh, it might be because she's drunk, or just because I roll poorly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, she's like, hmm. Well, that's fine. Hmm. I'm, I'm gonna... Still, but... Okay, I, while, while, while it looks like things are kind of going well-ish, I'm just going to sigh and make a bit, of a bit of a show of getting up from the bar, wandering over and saying, yeah, you're not causing trouble again, are you? Is he causing trouble? Because if he's... Co- Look, I have to apologize up front if he's causing trouble. I mean, he, he's... He's, you know, slagging this bar off, which, I mean, you know, it, it's, it's, is he all right? Is he not bothering you? He's fine. She uh, push, pushes out the other chair and uh, motions for you to sit. I'm going to look around and realize that most tables uh, are taken, and I'm going to be like, oh, thank you very much. She then nods to her uh, friend over here, who then gets up and moves over to the bar. Cool. And motions <laughs> for Jar to come over. Wow, that's it. Just like yeah, yeah. My, I, I've got new friends now. You can, you can go to the bar. I, I do <laughs> hesitate is, walking. That is cold. That is she is cold. So she then says, once Jar has a seat. Uh, so you boys here for business or pleasure? Huh. Looking for work, actually. Uh, my friend here, he uh, he likes to wander around the wilderness between jobs. Not really my cup of tea. Um, there's green stuff. I, I don't get on with green stuff and things that move that aren't people <laughs> kind of bothers me a lot. So, uh, yeah, I, I tend to wander around looking for looking for work here and there. And, yeah, he wanted to check out this establishment. He said it. What, what did you say it was? It looked, looked like a nice dive from the outside, I think he said, which... <laughs> I, I don't know. I, 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 all I can do is apologize for his tastes. Apology accepted. And, and <laughs> I'm going to take mark at the end of that. <laughs> 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 what? What? He's he's just there, like chatting and being casual about things, and then he's going to take another sip of his gin, and look around at the at the establishment, and and you know, take in take in the ambiance, as it were. Yeah, you, know, you know, do remember from the description, this place is, has uh, pop music playing. So, like, kind of cheesy, boring background noise that's oddly more cheerful than the actual decor of this place. It's a, it's a little odd. Is it, but, uh, is it like um, ironic music? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> like, welcome to the, 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 the darkness pit where we play Britney Spears 24-7. Oh, good God, not Britney oh. Spears. If it's like Britney Spears, <laughs> then it's just going to do my head in. 
Okay, okay. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna sip at the bar. I'm just gonna. You know, not sit at the bar. I'm just gonna <laughs> sit here where I am and just sip on my my gin a little bit and and you know look around without making it obvious that I'm carefully studying everybody. All right. Um, she's gonna turn a jar and say, "So, what kind of work are you guys looking for?" Um, <laughs> guess I'm gonna I'm gonna reply with um whatever I can get my hands on, and then I guess I'm gonna abruptly change the topic and like smear my finger into the grease on the table and ask well so what what brings you back here often if you come here often <laughs> <laughs> oh my dar oh. <laughs> um i'm going to need a fast talk on that one <laughs> make it good just a regular roll regular roll iq minus 5 is your skill Unless you have faster. Yes. No. Oh, well, you fail it by four. She looks at you really confused. <laughs> <laughs> and then she looks back at, you, at uh, you know, uh, Simon Gepwin, um, and he says, is there something wrong with your friend? <laughs> <laughs> I think he just gets nervous in the presence of attractive young women. <laughs> She smirks. <laughs> really now? <laughs> she then looks back to Jar and is like, so, you single? <laughs> 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 By the way, uh, everyone except Jar knows that she's joking. <laughs> <laughs> I think... Jar has the oblivious <laughs> trait. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. -uh. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly mutter out no, and then get very awkward. <laughs> Yay for awkward. She then adds, well... I'm going to pat him on the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> L then says, well, that doesn't stop me usually. I'm going to smile, just going to smile in that kind of like, if, if she looks my way, I'm going to acknowledge it and just smile at this, the, at, the, at, the, at the amusement of it, because she's just being a bitch, but this is kind of funny, you know. <laughs> she th she uh, then uh, turns back to you, uh, Malik, and, uh, and, like, uh, and says, um, so, you are looking for work. I might know some people to talk to if you're interested uh-huh ah what kind of work well you guys seem like a few rough and tumble types I uh, and I, some... I kind of put my drink down and, and put a sort of serious sort of look on my face it's like uh -huh. and sort of like you caught my attention kind of a reaction a friend of mine might need i don't know someone to uh pay people visits if you know what i mean but like, uh, what are we talking here? I mean, and I look around because obviously the place is quite full. I mean, like, is this the place to talk about such things? Uh, that's a good question. How would she react here? Uh, I think I have a appropriate skill to roll on this. And, uh, oh, she actually misses it. So, <laughs> <laughs> She's like, well... Yes, this is the perfect place to talk about my illegal side business. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> See, guys, my plan here, my plan is that she leaves with us and then we fucking arrest her, bundle her in the car and find where this android is. This is my plan at this point. <laughs> she says, a friend of mine named Edvik is uh, looking for a uh, little muscle to... Uh, Help him on on some personal collection business. Huh. You might need someone who's capable of uh, maybe breaking a few things. Are we talking? Uh, are we talking doors? Are we talking? And I look around. Are we talking bones. You'd have to talk to Ed Vic about that. Huh. 
Is he here? Oh, no, actually. Uh, I can get you in contact, though. Would you like his number? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. why not? She pulls out a phone and, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, provides you a number. Okay, I'll put it into my little personal computer thing. She then looks at you, Gepwin, and you are... You know, Jar is pretty out there as far as looks, but you're much more so. Uh, you're 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 finely dressed, and you got your helmet <laughs> thing going on. And she's she looks at you, uh, Gepwin, and she says, "So, gentleman adventurer, is that a official title, or are you just a crazy person?" <laughs> I'll chuckle to myself after while taking another sip of my gin. I'm I'm trying to let this drink last because I don't want to get drunk while on the job. Yeah, just so uh, folks know, uh, there are a lot of people with a lot of different kind of confusing cultures for you guys, as well as you guys can be very confusing to other people. She's So she's actually uh. not certain uh, how legitimate a gentle adventure is. <laughs> Fair enough. That's good. The more she doesn't know what's going on, the better. <laughs> self-styled, ma'am, self-styled. After a few years working in private military, I decided to take my retirement to spend my time exploring the remainder of the galaxy that I had not yet seen in the dis in the undespoiled rim of the wilderness. Oh, you are uh, quite far from the rim here. Yes, well, of course, sometimes you have to return to more civilized worlds for resupply and to see what they are doing with the natural parks give the advice of a professional, as it were. Naturalist? Hmm. Well... Your uh, your big gun there is any use? I think uh, Edvik might be of uh, might be able to use your services. Is there anything else I can help you with? I feel like there should be, but now I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I think, I, I think, I think uh, Carter's gonna speak up and say, "Uh, to the, to what is today? Nothing planned today." Um. Pretty much just wanted to sit down, spend a little bit of money, and then carry on with the search tomorrow. But from the sounds of it, I might not need to carry on the search tomorrow if we get in contact with this Edvik. Excellent. Then may I interest you in some pleasure, then? <laughs> <laughs> she being ironic. What, 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 what is her game She's, here? She is not joking this time, by the way. Oh. Oh, oh. my. This doesn't sound like it is. Okay. Well, my dear, that's an interesting offer. And I'm going to take another drink of gin with and leave that as an empty at the end of the sentence. <laughs> he uh, turns to you, Jar, wondering what your answer is. Um, I think he's just going to... He's going to be quiet and look over at Simon with a terrified face. <laughs> like he's living in hell right now. <laughs> now, now, would you say that you're uh, spooked enough to require a fright check? Uh, no. All right. <laughs> you're just incredibly uncomfortable. Okay, gotcha. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, so... I know I shouldn't. I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to resist this. I'm gonna have to resist one of my disadvantages here. You see, I know, I know, I shouldn't because she's a target. So I know I shouldn't end up getting, you know, flirtatious with her. I know I shouldn't, but I, yeah, it's, it's one of my. Yeah, I'm gonna have to roll a check. Oh, please get twelve or under. Please get twelve or under. Right. Uh, While well, you're you're thinking about it, uh, Malik, uh, she then looks to you, Gep, when. And gives you that same sort oh, of thank goodness. curious look. Because <laughs> that would have complicated everything. <laughs> Always open to new and exciting experiences, my dear. Hmm. You don't say. Well, what kind of pleasure are you looking for? little uh, narcotic? A little... Physical in, in, enjoyment, something else. You don't seem like the uh, the kind that'd be a chiphead, but uh, you know. I always get us into these situations. 
think we all got us into this situation. To be fair. <laughs> At my age, the pleasures of the flesh and the narcotic can be a bit overtaxing. Though I do sometimes enjoy a good show, maybe a spot of gambling on the good old equine arts. Hmm. A racer, eh? Interesting. Don't get any of them around this part of town. But, uh, well, Edvik might know some people if you're interested. Perhaps, perhaps. Could always use a diversion when thy path takes me away from my true calling of Mother Nature. Well, been good meeting all of you. I think I'm going to do you guys a favor because if you do get uh, helping out Edvik, well, you'd be doing me a favor. Drinks are on me, boys. Oh, excellent. The, uh, she uh, nods the the bartender who seems to be uh, and then <laughs> but nods back as if he understands what's going on. You will excuse me. I have some business to attend to. Have a well, good one. Well, thank you very much. And I'm guessing she's leaving. Yeah, she gets up and starts heading out. Unless <laughs> you guys want to do something to stop her. Uh, I'm not going to stop. I'm just going to uh, uh, nip to the loo. All right. Uh, and, and like immediately and see what other exits there are at the back. All right. Uh, so you're going to be uh, uh, reveal the area. Go ahead and move yourself over. I don't know where to go. <laughs> oh, that. Uh, oh, that. The hall, that hallway over there is, uh, is the hallway to the bathrooms. Uh, okay. There are two doors there. Okay. Did, did she actually go that way? Probably. No, well, she seemed to go, go. Yeah, she went right through the door there. But, oh, I thought uh, she went to the front door. My, my apologies. Nope. Uh, she went to uh, uh, through the door there, and there are three doors on the other side uh, once you stick your head in through the door. Okay. Which way did she go, does it look like? Uh, well, there are three doors there, and she does not seem to be present. I'll go ahead and uh, do that so you can see the little red bits. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's much better. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Can I hear any noises from any of these doors? Uh, uh, the, uh, door that is right there mm -hmm. appears to be, uh, appears to be occupied because there's somebody inside that's having a bad time. They're, <laughs> they're groaning and moaning and you're not sure if they're, uh, what end, what, what end of the business they're, they're engaged in, but they seem to be not, not well. And there's okay, the, okay. Other, the other bathroom door appears to be that one. And this one is unmarked. By the way, this one is, uh. Is the, the the one closer to you is the ladies, the one further away is the men's. Okay, okay. So I'm guessing she went to the far door. Okay. I'm gonna listen briefly on the door, see if I can hear anything. Um, and then I'm just gonna crack it open and see if I can see anything. All right. Uh, give me a perception check. And while you're doing that, uh, what are you other two guys doing? Yeah, Alex just got up and left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. Did we notice that he started following her? I think he uh, pretty yes. much, yeah, I, I think he probably would have noticed me actually, you know, leave the table. Yeah. That's oh, uh, That's, a, uh, be it by that's decent. Uh, from the far side, you can hear uh, what sounds like a, uh, like a, like a, a, a kitchen sort of uh, situation. Like there's uh, like a grill or something like that. Uh, and there's people moving around in there. I'll give it an appropriate like, like, amount of time to not look sus overly suspicious and then go follow him. All right. Go ahead and start moving. Uh, Jar, what you up to? Um, I think given there's two people back there now, I, I'm going to have to just wait here <laughs> for any <laughs> suspicion to die down. All right. So... Uh... Uh, back to Alex. Uh, so you're pick poking your head through. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna wander in um, and uh, look like I'm a bit drunk. I'm like gonna move unsteadily into the kitchen right. and keep an give eye me out for an, it. Give me an acting roll. Okay, I'm also before I do that, as as uh, as uh, Simon's come up behind me, I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna I'm just gonna whisper out to him before I go in properly and start you know drunkily staggering around. I'm saying. Check the front, make sure she hasn't uh, hasn't made a runner, and then I'm gonna then I'm gonna stagger in. Um, Go ahead and move in. 
Okay. No. Oh. And I'm going to wander in... off. And I'm going to wander. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay. Wander off to this door that's next to me that way. All right. Um, um, and I'm going to do the acting what? check. You know, so do your acting check. Uh, and I'll describe the, the room. It is a small kitchen. Uh, there are two people here who are uh, preparing food. Uh, this bar seems to be mostly drink based, but there apparently is some sort of menu, and they are cooking up a couple things. There's like a couple burgers on the uh, on the on the on the stoves. Most of the stuff in here seems underutilized, though. So it's food isn't the main reason people come here. No, no, no. This the kitchen probably at some point in the past was used properly. Now they just put one over gruel like slop that they can throw yep. together for people. <laughs> Excellent. Right. So I'm going right. to stagger in here like I'm looking for the toilet. And I'm going to if right. nobody interrupts me, I'm going to carry on and see what's in here. Uh one of the uh the the cooks says the toilet's the other side, man. I'm going to see if I can kind of open this door and at least see what's beyond it and pretend I haven't heard him briefly. All right. Well, while you're doing that, Gep, what are you doing? Well, he told me to go check the front, so I guess I will wander over to the front of the bar and lean outside like I need some air. All right. Uh, from here, you can see uh, clearly that uh, you know most of the other buildings next to this are right next to the bar, so it's all butted up together. Uh, so there is, uh, you know, maybe a uh, block or so down uh, a an alley that goes between the buildings that could be potentially leading to uh, like an, uh, any space behind the building. Uh, and so uh, if uh, she was going to be slipping out the back or something like that, that would probably be the, the way through unless there's a door to one of the other buildings uh, next to the bar. Okay. So where's the alley on the right side? Like over uh, here? Yes. Yeah, let's, let's say it's uh, off the map. Like uh, it'll take you a, uh, like a half minute to get over there. Okay. I'll wander over, kind of peek around the alley and nonchalantly lean in case somebody comes out this way. All right. Uh, while you're doing that, uh, Jar, are you doing anything? Um, I think a uh, sufficient amount of time has passed. I'm going to wander into that hallway and actually just go into the male's bathroom. All right, so uh, the male's bathroom is the one where there's lots of noises. <laughs> <I'm> curious. <laughs> you open the door, it's unlocked, and there's a guy on the toilet. Uh, let me do the reveal here. Uh, and... <laughs> He seems very upset you're there, but he has other reasons to be more upset. I think I'm going to just wash my hands and get out within another <laughs> 15 seconds. <laughs> and then just stand against the wall. He seems very, very perturbed, but <laughs> he's busy. Um, so, uh, Alex, <laughs> uh, you uh, poke your head uh, through... Uh, through this, I sort of uh, drunkenly uh, kind of sway into that door like I'm kind of half like know where I'm going. Right, you you poke your your head in, uh, despite the the cooks telling you otherwise, and uh, it's, it appears to be an office of some sort. Uh, and there's a guy, uh, you know, working on some paperwork. Uh, by that he mean, I mean he's poking at a computer. Uh, and there's actually several like data pads at the sides and. There's no actual paper here. <laughs> and I'm going to drunkenly say, this is not the bathroom. As it's this way. And then I'm going to wander back out immediately. And the, <laughs> the guy right. tells you to, you know, to, to basically frag off and uh, get out of here. <laughs> okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stagger up and, uh, and up to this door. I'm pass basically north this way, if, if I can go that way. All right. Uh, give me another acting role, because these uh, cooks seem to be getting a little bit more antsy. Yeah, that's fine. Acting is surprisingly one of my stronger skills. I, don't, I have no idea why. Oh, I only just scraped that one. But let's see what penalties I've gotten on top of that. Who knows? All right. Uh, they seem annoyed, but they don't stop you moving through. Cool. I'll just stagger through the door at the top then. All right. Um, so it'll be a little bit longer before uh, you're, you're quite in position, uh, Gepwin. Okay. Uh, Jar, are you... Are you just hanging out there? Um, I think I'm going to make my way outside the bar now. All right. But go the opposite direction of where Simon went. Okay. So, uh, you know, that there's another alley off that way, but it's a little bit further away. I think I'll go and do the same that Simon was doing. Okay. Just so, lean and look. You, you guys uh, will be uh, out of the action for a few more moments then. Um, so, uh, Alex pokes his head into this door then. Mm-hmm. And there's L. 
And, and that looks like some kind of artificial machine. Yes, there appears to be a an android that has uh, you know is it seems to be a uh, a very flesh sort of uh, built one, so it's it's artificial flesh. Uh, the skin color is a very metallic gray, so it's it's shiny uh, despite having the sort of look and feel of flesh. Otherwise, it's really kind of unsettling. And her eyes are, uh, I think I said pink, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. Um, and she's just kind of standing there uh, while uh, L is rummaging around in uh, a crate there. Okay, I'm going to um, slip, slip inside and let the door close behind me. All right. Uh, you're going to need to... Uh, are you trying to do this without being noticed? I'm trying to do this, yeah, tr- without without being heard oh. by her or look like I've suddenly sobered up by them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's, 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 um. I'm, I'm running a balance between these two things. But yes, ultimately, my priority is to not be heard until the door is shut behind me. Yeah, she's a little distracted at the moment. So uh, let's go with shadowing for your skill check. Hey, shadowing works. I've got shadowing. Okay, shadowing. What is my shadowing skill? Uh, there it is. Oh, that's an, is that another, another reasonable one. But beat that by three. Not not a great three. roll, but it's acceptable. Uh, the let's see if there's any interesting modifiers I can throw this at this for or against you, of course. Ooh. Rude. All right. Uh, so you made it by that. Yeah, I made it by three. All right, and. Well, I better or worse, I think that's enough that you have uh, entered the room undetected. Okay, okay. At least by L. Yes. So she doesn't seem to have noticed me. Does the robot thing, the android, seem to have reacted to my presence? Uh, noticed and react are different questions, but they do not seem to be reacting. You don't know if they've noticed okay. you. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're going to be harder to read. In fact, the android seems to be almost completely motionless. Okie dokie. Um, right, uh, did you have what? a number to swap with me, um, Simon, Scott? Did you have uh, mobile numbers to swap, or oh. do you guys not have them? Uh, Can we pretend that I put a walkie-talkie or phone in my inventory? <laughs> uh, sure. Well, I, th- I think we all have <laughs> phones. It's whether or not you guys, because I know you said you, you were potentially sort of come from more of a primitive culture so i didn't know whether you would have even had a phone to have swapped details with Uh, i eventually did pick one up uh on my time before us meeting okay does it look like the okay fair enough so i've I've got that option um does it look like the door to the north might lead is it like an indoor door or an outside door you know what i mean does it Uh, it look like it looks heavier than the uh, the internal doors here, so it's probably an outside uh, facing door. Okay, okay, cool. That 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 works for me. Um, I'm going to um, just you know, not I'm not going to reach for my gun, but it's going to be there available, my little stun pistol. Um, and I'm with the other hand, I'm just going to carefully type out a, a message and send it out to uh, to those two and say um, um, they're in the back room, m- maybe. Uh, maybe leads to the alleyway and that's it and i'm just gonna wait and see if i can stay here i, I might as well move my token fully in because yeah all right so uh you guys get a uh, blip oh. on your uh, your phones how, or how big is that or crate anything? sorry how big is that crate to the bottom of me uh it's about you know, it's it's actually several crates stepped up, stacked on top so you can probably hide behind it pretty easily okay i will stay behind that out of sight of these two all right uh so get one jar what are you up to no, right, I just got a phone beep. Yep. All right. No, I guess I'll check my phone. <laughs> All right. So uh, you get get uh, Alex's message. I'm very disappointed that I it's not my words with friends update. <laughs> 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 All right. I'll glance over at at Scott and see if he's got the same thing and wave him over to the alley. Yeah, definitely have the same message. Uh, Exchange eye contact and I make my way over. All right. I should try exploring down the alley. See if I can All get right, over uh, to that rear door. All right. Okay. So, uh, 
While they're doing that, that, I'm going to observe these two. I'm going okay. to look to see if I can see that she may have any hidden weapons. I'm going to see if I could study the the android to see if it's got any weapons, whether they be built in or or whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to basically listen, observe, sit tight, um, make sure that my phone is on silent, completely silent, obviously, in case I get a reply. Um, All right. And yeah, just uh, see if I can assess this situation. Go ahead and give your uh, observation rolls, and I'll uh, reveal the alleyway. Do and we go. And, uh, go ahead and. Uh, you guys up there uh so there's a couple of guys back here but they uh don't seem to be caring about you at all they're uh just a couple of bumps like i'll move them close to the trash can they're they're, they're talking about who knows what <laughs> some, some sort of nonsense that uh that you know, people they know but yay nonsense um uh, so gonna... uh is that your observation roll there yes i'm just gonna scroll um screen a little bit so that it's a bit nicer for the people watching okay. there we go that's a bit better um so uh and uh jar what was that roll for i'm gonna ignore that okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you're trying to do something let me know first <laughs> <laughs> um so uh you guys us uh, uh move around to the the back the the back door uh for the dagger bar it's pretty obvious it actually says dagger bar on the back uh, and, uh, you know, there's a couple of guys there. There's, uh, some trash in the alleyway. Um, uh, there, and, and some of it's piled high enough that if you wish to, you could potentially try to hide behind it, but, um, that's not completely up to you. Mm. I'll get to, uh, what you see in a moment, Alex. Let's stand next to the door and send a reply that says outside. Or out okay. back. Okay. Are you doing anything special? Um... I just get a nod from Simon, so I can guess what he's probably sent. All right, cool. Uh, so, um, you know, Alex, as you're observing, she seems to be searching for something. Uh, she doesn't seem to be fighting very easily. Uh, you do notice on her that she uh, appears to not have any obvious uh, firearms, but she does have a knife under her uh, under, under the edge of her uh, 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 coat jacket thing. Um, it's the future. I don't know what the name for it would be. <laughs> uh, but other than that, she seems unarmed other than her cybernetic arm on her left side, but you already knew about that. Yeah. Does, does that have, like, is it just like, going to be ultimately a strong arm, or is it going to have integrated stuff inside of it, or do not? Oh, don't I know? That's a good question. Uh, do you have any knowledge about cybernetics? No. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I have... Uh, I stuff have, about robots. I do have uh, electronics operation robots. It's operation of robots. I mean, I'll give you a role yeah. and you can tell me what I can figure out about A, the robot, and B, her arm, if anything. I mean, All right. Uh, this would be perhaps a little tricky. Um, actually, let's uh, look for a uh, repair or build skill uh, real quick. See what that default would be. Well, I'm gonna, mm -hmm. I'll roll the electronics operation robots and then you can add whatever modifiers there are. Do I mean, I made it by once. So that probably isn't going to reveal much. Yeah, you you have no idea in that case. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. What about the robot itself, the the droid? Do I pick up anything from that with that role, or do you want me to do uh, a different role? Or... They seem very unresponsive. They don't seem to be doing anything. In fact, you don't even know if they're activated. They could be uh, powered down. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, uh, sh right around the time you get the uh, the message for uh, you know, back from a uh, you know, Gepwin and Jar. Uh, uh, L seems to be getting a little on the angry side. She shuts the lid of the crate she's been uh, rummaging around with, and then looks over at the robot and says, uh, uh, you know, "Where is that computer?" And the robot replies, "What computer?" in a very, very perky voice. Okay, I'm gonna just carry on listening, see what I can glean. L shakes her head, disappointed. Moves around, grabs the, uh, the 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 android by the face, starts squeezing, and yells, "You know, the fragging computer." By the way, guys outside, give me a uh, observation roll uh, for a hearing. I was gonna ask about that. Uh, 
account. Let me know how much you make it by. Uh, one, apparently. Ooh, it looks like you both made it by one, right? Yeah. All right. So uh, you guys can actually uh, both uh, uh, hear that there's some some sort of yelling going on inside because uh, Elle is very much raising her voice at this point. Is it enough to distinguish, like, that it's a female? Uh, it's a little hard to tell. Hmm. All right. Okay, I'm going to see if I can resolve this situation a little bit. Uh, uh, there's going to be a fight, and when the fight kicks off, they're going to charge in, I suspect. So let's see if I can and get her to back down and... and Oh, I hope this... Does this robot look like it's going to cause me trouble if it decides to try and kill me? Or is it not a it's, physical, strong droid? It, it, it looks very small. Uh, in fact, uh, the robot here is five foot. Uh, she seems kind of like, you know, you know built like a small woman. Uh, okay. She's wearing, uh, you know, uh, clothes, of course. You know, not all and androids do, but she is. Um and uh, other than her strange color, uh, she's seems fairly weak looking. Probably, cool. you know, <laughs> of course, that doesn't necessarily mean much in terms of you know robots. Sometimes, no, she could transform into some death fucking <laughs> Ed two hundred nine kind of destroyer of worlds <laughs> and, and with nuclear powered lasers. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, okay, cool. I'm just gonna casually stand out, have my um, um, have my uh, Making sure that my heavy laser is on my belt, visible, and my 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 sonic stun pistol is, you know, casually held up, pointing, and I'm gonna turn around to her and say, um, make a sound, and I am gonna blast you, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna give her a very stern look and say it in a very threatening way. Are, are you uh, coming out of from behind the crate there? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. like there. Yep. Right. Uh, uh so. You know, try guys to, I'm trying to intimidate. Uh, All right, uh, go ahead and give me a roll. You guys outside, also give me another perception roll. All right, because uh, uh, Alex is closer to you, so it'd be easier to hear. Made it by zero. <laughs> oh, fail! That oh, critical fail on the intimidation. <laughs> so basically, instead of make a sound and I'll kill you, instead of saying that, I says, "Oh, I'd rather you be quiet, please." <laughs> <laughs> Let's quiet quiet down, you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I don't think how, she's... Hmm. How would L react at this point here, I to wonder? a feeble type of intimidation with, with someone with a gun. <laughs> well, I think she would not give a crap. No, I don't think anyone <laughs> would give a crap with that. I don't think, I don't think I'd make a five-year-old cry with that performance. All right, uh, and she also notices you, of course. Da -da -da. Mm -hmm. uh, she raises her arms like she's like seemingly uh, trying to uh, it's like don't Render shoot me sort thing. of thing. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Uh, da -da -da. Give me a moment. If she does anything, I'm going to. All right. Uh, 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 when you, she you know, puts her arms up uh, like that, uh, you are... Uh, Pretty sure she's not actually trying to ward you off. She's she's up to something. Okay. I'm gonna turn around and uh, and and with my other hand, I'm gonna with my with my fist, I'm just gonna bang on the wall and say, "Come on, guys!" All right, you guys right. outside, give me one more perception check. <laughs> <laughs> that I heard. I'm banging on the wall and speaking up to them. I mean, <laughs> if, if you guys don't hear this, then you, you've got issues. Come on. It's Right. Oh boy. Get one? That Get one here is uh <laughs> Jar does not. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, I will Jar Jar's a little bit further away too, so I will burst in, gun out. Yay. I still follow him from right. seeing him do that. I though, still right? have my net loaded from earlier. Excellent. Right. Cool. Uh my and guns out. So uh the you know, you know, L raises her her arm, sees you guys run in. Uh, Alex, you see on her left arm a, a hole open up in her palm. A hole in her palm, like she's got cybernetic oh. weapons in her in her robot yes. arm. And that can't be good. <laughs> and that's where we're going to leave today's session. 
Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, rude. Very rude. Just yes, so we can yes. all die first thing next time. <laughs> well, hopefully not. But, um, well, yeah, but, hopefully uh, not. I, 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 I'm pretty sure you guys could probably take her. The question is, how much damage does she do first? Well, if it's some kind of energy weapon, laser, my trench coat should be able to handle it. I just hope she doesn't shoot me in the face. Well, that would be bad. We'll see how that rolls. <laughs> Unless it's my eyes. My eyes I wouldn't actually be too concerned about because I have my cool shades. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we'll leave things off here we'll pick up with a fight at the beginning of the next session yeah, and that, uh that's cool. this one is going to be a little bit more strain, uh, strenuous than, the, than that sort of uh intro bit there uh and i also want to give you guys a, a, a you know go over some of the the basics of uh more more formal combat before we get into that mm -hmm. all right, all right. So, okay right. so didn't want to get too too into it quite yet here so uh, I think we're good to go, unless there's anything else. Um, I, I can't think of uh, anything in particular. All right. Cool, cool, cool.